Hey, what's up? Let's see what's been happening in the news. A new tourism ad from South Australia has got a lot of people talking. Some people love it, other people think that it's kind of depressing. But it turns out we've always had a bit of a love-hate relationship when it comes to Aussie tourism ads. This is the ad. A sad man visiting parts of South Australia and it ends like this. Don't feel so for old mate. Sure. It's his own damn fault he didn't visit Adelaide sooner. The ad was made to encourage people to visit the state, but some reckon you can't help but feel sorry for old mate. Eye-catching ads are a great way for states and countries to attract tourists. This isn't a movie. No, it's a tourism ad for Australia. But sometimes they can create bad publicity too. Like the SA ad and this one from 2006, which was actually banned in the UK for bad language. But it's not all bad. You look like you need a holiday. A fair income holiday. In the land of wonder. The land down under. This classic campaign from the 80s made Australia a number one travel destination for Americans. I'll slip an extra shrimp on the barbie for you. We don't even say that. So, while not everyone agrees on the best way to show off our awesome country, there's no denying that even the weird ones get people talking, and sometimes crying. Ariana Grande is suing an American fashion company because she says that they used her star power to sell clothing. According to the lawsuit, Ariana was working on a marketing campaign with Forever 21, but it didn't work out. Then, she says, the brand hired a model that looked a lot like her and used her lyrics in their social posts right around the time that her Thank You Next album came out. Forever 21 hasn't commented on the lawsuit and Ariana is asking for about $14.7 million in damages. Yikes. The CSIRO's big research ship, The Investigator, has just returned from a four-week voyage where scientists were exploring the sea floor. They mapped out 60 million-year-old underwater volcanoes, canyons and areas that had never been sampled before. They also collected things from deep underwater, which the scientists say is kind of fun. It's a bit like the lucky dip, you know, when you're in school fair and you're waiting for the bucket to come up over the edge and then it turns up and you get all excited because you've got a dredge full of black rocks and you think, yes, excellent, we'll be able to really do some great research with those. All right, it's time to check out what's been happening in sport. Australia has added two new but familiar faces to its lineup for the fourth Ashes Test. Steve Smith will be back after missing the third test because of a concussion. And Mitchell Stark has been added to boost the bowling lineup. Serena Williams has notched up her 100th match win at the US Open after beating Cheong Wang in the quarter-final. Meanwhile, Roger Federer suffered a shock defeat to Grigor Dimitrov. And Rafael Nadal beat Marin Cilic. But it was this very impressive over-the-shoulder back-to-the-net flick of a volley winner from Nadal that got everyone excited. Let's watch that again. Wow. And the Boomers are, well, booming after a 13-point victory over Senegal in the Basketball World Cup. Aussie Joe Ingles finished just one assist shy of claiming the first triple-double in World Cup history. The Aussies will take on Lithuania next in the last match of the group stages. And finally, it's people and animals doing things they really shouldn't. It's a lesson in what not to do. When you hike up a mountain in France, you probably shouldn't leave your rowing machine behind. Yeah, this guy dragged the 26 kilo hunk of gym equipment up Mont Blanc to raise money for charity and then left it there, which locals weren't too happy about. The man says not to worry, he'll go back and get it ASAP. Now that's a good workout. You know what you probably shouldn't do when a powerful hurricane is heading your way? Go for a surf. The winds of Hurricane Dorian did stir up some big frothy waves on the coast of Florida, but it's also the same state where more than a million people have been evacuated from. And look, this could be the worst act yet. These lorikeets in Queensland were caught stealing someone's breakfast. The poor person sat and watched helplessly as they slurped up her cereal. Just wretched. It seems the early bird really does get the banana. I think that's how the saying goes. Well, that's all the news for now, but I'll be back with more tomorrow. See you then.